It's a warm and windy lunch hour here in South Texas. It's about 20 degrees and winds are a little breezy out of the north. But I can't complain, 20 degrees in December. It's about 68 Fahrenheit, by the way. And it's classic, right? I always tend to overdress. Might need to take off my arm warmers later, we'll see. But I've got about an hour workout planned. I've got some stuff to do this afternoon, so I'm just gonna pound some stuff out, but I've got breath in my lungs. I'm out on the bike. Let's get it. Last week I traveled to Nashville, Tennessee for a conference with a couple of really good friends of mine. And some of you guys may know that I produce a podcast called the Apocalyptic Gospel Podcast with two of my other friends and pastors, John Harrigan and Bill Schofield. We started back in 2020 during COVID and we just finished earlier this year, produced a bunch of episodes on how a first century Jew would have understood the gospel. It was great. Well, what may surprise some of you is I had not seen John and Bill in person for over 10 years. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? Two of my closest friends whom I've laughed and lamented with and talked with, seeing their faces, of course, on a screen for more than pretty much any other human every week just unbelievable and i had not seen them in over a decade thank you lord for reunions a few days away from Christmas and I've just been thinking about again how political Christmas really is and you might be like wait a minute what do you mean Josh political like isn't Jesus the king of my heart didn't he come just to die and then go and reign in heaven I mean you talking about earthly politics the answer is yeah I am understand this we've got to go all the way back to 2 Samuel chapter 7 and a promise that God made to King David when he said David one of your sons is going to sit on your throne in Jerusalem he's going to rule over Israel he's going to crush Israel's enemies and he's going to reign there forever Fast forward a bunch of centuries to Jesus's day. And in Matthew chapter one, we see an entourage of magi, wise men coming from the east and they come to Jerusalem and they say, where's the one who's been born king of the Jews? And of course, the puppet king in charge at the time, Herod is like, oh, I don't know, let me ask. He asked the chief priest and he says, I wanna go and worship him too. Well, of course, Herod's not gonna go and worship him. He doesn't want his power taken away by this supposed king of Israel, the one who had been born king of the Jews. I hope you can see that already we're getting a little political. Now, 
Now, if you flip over to Luke chapter two, you're gonna find the angel Gabriel telling Mary, the Lord is gonna give her son the throne of his father, David, and he's gonna reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom, there will be no end. Like that is a direct quote of 2 Samuel chapter seven. This is the point the gospel authors are making, friends, that Christmas is political. Herod thought it was political. He tried to kill him. <laughs> but David never reigned in my heart and David never reigned in heaven. The throne of David is in Jerusalem. And this is what we celebrate on Christmas, the birth of Israel's king. Israel's prophets like Isaiah would go on to say that when this king reigns in Jerusalem and restores it, brings back all the lost tribes, that the nations are gonna flow up there and listen to his instruction and they're gonna actually walk it out and it's gonna result in global peace. Pretty nasty headwind right now. This is where I love a power meter. You can just plunk away at your prescribed wattage. This is why the angels were shouting for joy at the birth of Jesus. And this is why we sing joy to the world on Christmas. So friends, don't be afraid to get political on Christmas. <laughs> we know how the story ends. This King of Israel is gonna come and reign just as he was promised to. So I'm gonna leave some links down in the description for other videos where I've gone into a lot more detail on all these subjects before. So if that interests you, make sure you check that out. And if you've enjoyed this one, make sure you like and subscribe for more and I will see you all in the next one.